Additive manufacturing is widely used for prototyping and small part counts. Medium and large part counts are still not economically. To enable mass customization, printing must be accelerated. State-of-the-art 3D printers use the stereolithography principle. Non-professional printers use the LCD principle. However, it suffers from limited size, and is difficult to scale. Professional printers use Galvo scanners to steer a laser beam and have a build space up to meter range. The printing speed is limited and between 2 to 30 meters per second. This limitations can be exceeded by polygon mirror scanning. Polygon mirrors rotate continuously and can achieve scanning speeds up to 1000 meters per second. In this work, a printer is adapted to polygon mirror scanning principle. The performance of commercial printer should be reached. A linear stage design is used to scan the second dimension. The design scanning unit is simple, it requires no customized lenses. All corrections are done in software, based on a one-time calibration. A fifth order polynomial is used for scanning. The laser power is modulated because of the varying scanning speed. Some mirror errors are compensated to improve the accuracy. The video shows 3D Benchy, a boat with curved surfaces. A standard slicer is used for pre-processing, the common interface are sliced images. The printer uses the inverted principle, where resin is cured on a thick foil. Commercial resins are used. The printing range is 100 by 50 m. The scan data have a spatial resolution of 20 micrometers. The printer is controlled by a STM32 dual-core microcontroller. Two stage movements are required to cure a 50 micrometers thick layer, a single layer requires 11 seconds. This corresponds to a speed of 17 millimeters per hour. Measurements showed an uncertainty of 5 micrometers in fast scanning direction. The comparison of the results to the LCD printer Alagoo Saturn shows that the setup has a slightly better surface quality. In summary, it is shown that polygon mirrors can be used to accelerate the SLA process at good surface quality. The throughput can be further increased by a stronger laser. Thanks for watching.